Today, I want to talk to our CISOs. And the discussion is, what is the AI threat landscape and what should we be doing about it? Understanding that AI introduces unique threats that require our immediate intention in our organizations. And the second thing we need to realize is there are things and steps we can do to help protect ourselves and better prepare for this new AI threat landscape. And it starts with first familiarizing ourselves with the AI specific threats. This can include a lot of different types of things, starting with stuff like adversarial machine learning. That's where attackers can actually subtly manipulate the input and they're trying to deceive that model to do something it's not supposed to. Or maybe data poisoning. Where are we getting our data from? Has an attacker been able to maliciously manipulate that data to train the model to do something it's not supposed to do? To counter threats like these, we need to have we need to start implementing very robust security measures. And this includes things like making sure we're doing data validation, where we have anomaly detection in place, or we have the ability to regularly retrain our model back to a state of good, right? Doing these type of mitigations and understanding these threats are gonna help your organization find these threats early on and be able to react to them. And this goes into my second part, is you need to develop an AI-specific security policy. This should include guidelines on how you're gonna be securing the data inputs, how are you gonna protect the AI models from unauthorized access, as well as how and when should people be actually using AI and when they shouldn't be able to. And that we should even include even discussions around maybe the development environment that these systems are being built on. The second part of this is making sure that we communicate these policies clearly and across the organization to anyone that's going to be touching AI systems. And also adopting it into your current broader security framework is going to have a huge impact on the vision of AI security. The next part is actually enhancing your AI incident response plan. We need to be able to react to AI specific scenarios. So work with your security team to develop different playbooks to respond to AI related incidents. This includes things like how are we gonna isolate the system, right? If an AI system is compromised, how are we gonna make sure that compromise isn't felt throughout the rest of the organization? And then how do we get back to a state of good? using trusted data or retraining the model or using a new model, right? To manage AI risk effectively, the third step we have to do is we're gonna to have to conduct regular AI risk assessments. This should include things like evaluating all of our third-party AI tools and the risk that they bring into our organization, understanding the potential model biases, and then understanding the impact that might have on how we actually use AI to help drive decisions within our organizations. Use these assessments to kind of inform your risk management approach and strategy when dealing with these AI systems and adjust your security policies and measures to account for these type of things. You don't want the AI driving your company. You want the AI supporting your company and your goals. Finally, you really need to stay ahead of the regulatory requirements that come with AI especially the emerging regulations, things that are coming out with GDPR or things like the AI specific acts, right? The AI act. Um, these can also include things like industry specific regulations and guidelines that your industry might face that others don't. So you need to understand what those are. You need to test against them and do regular compliance checks and build that into your security strategy. You don't want to be caught up in legal complications because you're using data you shouldn't be using or AI recommended you do something that you shouldn't be doing. Understanding the limitations of AI is probably one of the most important parts of all of this. AI is not here to solve all of your problems. Understand where it is, what problems it can solve, and then create the security measures you need around it to make sure that when you're using it to increase productivity, you're doing it securely. Remember, security is a journey not a destination.